Hi all, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm just sat here on the floor because I wanted to talk about Yoto cards and I've got them all around me. Um, and that means that the dog has come up to join me as well. You say hi, Reg. No, no. Oh, here he is. Hello. This is Reggie. Um, so yeah, uh, Yoto cards. I wanted to just uh, give you a bit of an overview of all the different cards that there are that you can get at the Yoto card store. Um, a lot of these I've got from Yoto Club, which is the monthly um, thing where you get where you get two um, Yoto cards, but you also get like little activities, and I, I'll cover that another day because it's it's quite a fun. Um, and they've just changed it recently, so you can pick your cards. But again, I'll show you that another day. So a few of these, uh, well, lots of them I've just bought as and when. I've also bought the starter pack. So when I got the Yoto, you can buy like a starter pack with it. And it's actually, it was really good. Um, I'll, some of these I'll show you, the ones that we got in the starter pack, it might have slightly changed now what that is, but I think some of the same cards, that some of the cards that you get in the starter pack are still the same as the ones that I got. Um, but that was really good value. Um, so I definitely recommend that if you're thinking of getting a Yoto. Um, but there's, there's quite a different like range of different types of cards they have, so I'll just start off. So the obvious one is like stories. I already mentioned the Claude and Julia Donaldson, but there's loads more, like loads of your like favourite kids' books. Um, but also um, you can get them in packs as well. So um, I can't actually remember which we got in it, but this is like a Julia Donaldson one. Um, Hi We're At and Stickman are really really popular and we didn't know Superworm we don't have the book of Superworm so that's been really fun these ones are all read by Imelda Staunton they're, they're brilliant and they have songs on them and little activities too so when you're buying them you're not just getting the story you're getting uh you're getting the song you're getting the story um usually like little activities and also uh, a sing along version of the song um, so yeah, so they're, they're good. They were, they were just a pack, I think. I, I don't know if they were exactly these that were in it, but they've, as well as buying them individually, you, there's often like little selections that are ready made that you can buy. And that was definitely Julie Don, someone available. Um, so they're the stories. And I, I, you know, I don't know about you, but I grew up loving story tapes because like they were, they were cassette tapes when I was a kid. Um, absolutely loved them and listened to them over and over and over and I also follow a, quite a few people um or well, certainly one one really good um uh blogger who writes about raising readers so about how to yeah, get your kids interested in reading basically and she recommends she like writes a lot about um like her favorite halloween books and things but one of the things that she that comes to time and time again is like how good audiobooks are for helping children get into reading um i mean that was definitely true for me i got my i advanced my reading a lot more due to the fact that i knew the stories from the audiobooks and they really helped me read the books themselves um that's not true for everyone but um yeah i'm i love audiobooks I listen to audiobooks. Uh, I use BorrowBox app on my phone, um, which I'm a total evangelist about, um, as much as I am Yoto. So definitely, like the fact that there's a huge breadth of stories on Yoto is is great. Um, and you can also, when you're looking for them, you can group them. Like you can look for certain authors, or you can look for different age ranges, or just like browse by price or something like that. So huge amount to choose from. They do add a lot all of the time. I think I mentioned, but they've just added like Disney stories. Um, I'll have to check out and see what the kind of latest uh, latest ones are. But there's always there's always new stuff. Um, and then music. So there's um, kids pop, which everyone's like crazy about at the moment. Um, they're all different. Oh, I shouldn't show you that actually. They're all different colours on the back. So this, these are the story ones. They're yellow. Um, music ones. Uh, these are the red ones. And so some of these, I think, also came from um, the starter pack and then also from Yoto Club. I think this came in the starter pack, Orchestra for Kids. Um, but the one that definitely did is Mrs. H Sings. I cannot rate this highly enough. And here's like a, a bit of a, a Yoto hack. Um, I got this for my son's third birthday. And... 
you know what it's like about toddlers? I feel like they have to be comfortable with something. Sometimes they don't like things when they're new. So what I did is I set up the Oto. So I got it all out of the box and I set it up and I got it going on my phone. And I started playing like through, um, uh, like through the Bluetooth and to the car and things like that. I started playing particularly Mrs. H Sings. I don't know where I've put it now. Just put it down and lost it. I don't know where it's gone. Here it is. Um, no, that's the other one. Ah, anyway. Um, so I particularly started playing Mrs. H Sings and the music is just so good that we, so we've got this big kitchen downstairs where it's kind of like that, like many people inside the house, the main room that we end up spending time in because it's got a big dining table in there and uh, the fridge, like the most important thing in the house after the Yoto. Um, and what we do is we put on the Mrs. H Sings and like my little boy, so he wasn't yet three, we used to just like dance around this big butcher's block in the middle of the kitchen. And Mrs. H Sings was just so, such delightful music. It's really like happy and Funnily enough, I've actually met um, a new friend and she is a music teacher and she's just moved, so I live in the Southwest and she's just moved here from London and has a boy a year younger than my son. And she absolutely already knew Mrs. H sings. Um, it's Mrs. H and the Sing Along Band. So that came in the starter pack and it's just brilliant really 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 good and this is actually their next album so <laughs> this as soon as it came out i think i was on like an alert like let me know when it when it's available because i just am such a fan and just really 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 love it i think mrs h music is great so yeah so loads of loads of music loads of things that you'll know um let me just reach across for another one um so yeah so then there's like activity cards where are they? Ah. Uh, so this one came in the starter pack as well. This is um, like my first hundred words. And this is in, like it has first hundred words in um, French, German, uh, Spanish, possibly Portuguese, I can't remember. Um, and that's just quite a fun one. They were listening to that um, just the other day when these little friends were around. So and that was the, the back of those, oops. These ones are activity cards, they're green. Um, I also got these. Another set, actually, I've mentioned before that my son was quite, um, had a bit of language delay. And so I bought this set, so there's, there's loads of them. And this is, these are the phonics kit. Um, and these, like, you can see them. So make that word, tongue testers, what's that sound? What's that instrument? He loved that one. So he had to, you play a bit of um, an instrument and then he had to guess what it was. Uh, rhyme, body beats, body beats is quite into it at the moment. So, um, yeah, it'll do like, just repeat this, repeat this little rhythm and you do it with like, with like clapping or like just funny noises. So yeah, so that one has been good. They're the activity cards. Um, and then there's, um, sound effects. This came in the, this came in the starter pack too. This is a crackling fire. Actually, let me put it on cause it's quite fun. Oops. I don't know if you can hear that very well, but it literally is like a crackling fire sound. Um, and you can see it's lit up there, it's a bit too bright, a little fire picture. Um, that one's quite cute when they um, go in, like we've got like an indoor play tent, uh, sometimes we take it in the garden in summer, but when it's been indoors and it's been, they've pulled on all the blankets and made it dark and they've put the little, um, went in with his little, my son with his friends and they've put that on, which is just pretty cute. So yeah, that they are, um, they're the kind of sound effects. This this is something which it's actually cut, it comes under the music, but it's called Dreams of Space. Um, I think I got this one as part of the Oto Club. Um, it was like a braille week, so that's why you can see it's got the braille on it. Um, and it's it's just a really interesting. It's like a soundscape that someone's made of like what sound space might sound like. I really liked it so that when that I saw that the sounds of the ocean came out um, I've actually ordered that I haven't got it yet but um, I think they're just quite fun 
and like my boy's my favorite toy is a whale and he likes stories like tiddler so i think he might enjoy the sounds of the ocean one so yeah music activities stories there's also podcasts um so you can just play this and get the story shed podcast you can also get the podcast through the app and then you've got access to loads of them so um the app's like a whole other thing. There's loads, loads of stuff in the app. Um, as well as you can access your own cards and the podcasts and the radios. They also often do like trials as well. So you can just, if you're not, if you're thinking of buying something uh, or they, they give you like free things and stuff like that, or like little tasters, first story in a series um, that's in their little kind of tryout session. I can't remember what that. I can't remember what that um, section is called on the app, but anyway, uh, yeah. So those are all, I think, all the different types of cards, apart from that. Those are the ones that you can buy. Um, but then there's these. These are your make your own cards. Um, I bought a pack of these. I think we got maybe one or two when in the starter pack. Um, but we, I bought an extra pack of these, and they're brilliant. So at the beginning of lockdown, um, my son's grandparents so my husband's parents wrote a story and they read it and they made a little video of it and it was really cute it was all just like about all the different cousins my son's got lots of cousins about them all um just having an adventure together going to the seaside and things it was so sweet but of course it was on it was on my phone and they'd whatsapped it um and it was in like quite a lot of long lot of parts that each story had two parts and there were three stories so it's like six videos that which on my phone got all a bit mixed up and they were somewhere back in my whatsapp history and so he couldn't listen to them without me giving him my phone which then i mean he'd listen to them and then he'd go off and he'd start playing with my phone um but now so then what i did is i put them i mean of course you lose the video because they've made them as little videos but i put them onto um a, a yoto card I've, i made these stickers which i'll talk about another time um and so it's all like it's called we have an adventure part one and two and then you know we have an easter adventure part one and two and he listens to them himself all the time and it's really nice so my son has a lot of cousins but they don't live very close to us and they live um quite far and close to each other so um they all get to hang out and with his grandparents quite a lot um and so they all, they all get to hang out together with their grandparents quite a lot, but my son, we live quite far away. They live in like, um, just outside London and we live in the Southwest. And this has been another way to connect him to his grandparents and his family. So it's just a little thing. And all they did to, needed to do was just like make a recording um, of stories and send them and I pop them onto the Yoto. And it's just, it's really simple. It's just like a, it's just like a little app on, on their online um, and you just attach it to a card so it connect it to a card so it knows which card to play for that story and in fact let me see if i can find it there's a book called uh here we go this one never take an elephant on the bus um it's a sweet story it's, it's quite it is quite funny and he got this for i think christmas last year from his uncle and auntie and when they sent it, they also, because they knew we had the Yoto, they also sent a recording of it. So the last uh, song track on here is his uncle reading. Uh, so you can't take an elephant on a bus. So it's just like been a really nice way for him to be connected to a family that don't live close. Um, the grandparent stories, he likes playing all the time at the minute. And again, he, they wrote these over a year ago at the beginning of lockdown. And um, now he puts them on all the time. So yeah, those are all different cards. Um, there's loads and loads and loads in the in the card store. So go and check it out. I'll put a link below so you can just go and have a browse through. Um, and yeah, have a good day. Bye.